Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. In our today's video, ang gagawin naman natin is we will discuss solving quadratic equations by completing the square. As you can see, I have here the methods or the different methods in solving quadratic equations. First, we have the extraction of the square roots. Second, we have the factoring. The third one is your topic today, which is completing the square. And the fourth one is by using quadratic formula. So there are different ways on how to do this kind of methods. Kasi nga po, uh, iba-iba sila ng way or method. And then, uh, bakit ba natin kailangan mag-solve ng quadratic equations? Or bakit ba natin kailangan matutunan what is completing the square? So basically, in when I'm teaching grade in mathematics, Ang ginagawa ko, ito yung sinasabi ko sa mga sudyante, uh, it is better for you to use factoring. It is better for you to use extracting the square roots. Pero kapag hindi na kayang isolve by extracting the square roots at factoring ang isang quadratic equation, punta ka na ngayon sa isang method which is yung completing the square. Again, if hindi na kayang i-factor at hindi na kayang isolve gamit ang extracting the square roots, pupunta ka na ngayon sa completing the square. So, I have two examples here na kung saan ipapakita ko sa inyo yung step-by-step -step method para mas madali niyo matutunan what is solving quadratic equations by completing the square. Okay? So, we have here example number one. Sabi dito, solve the quadratic equation x squared minus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. So, as you can see, the given quadratic equation is in standard form. So, dito, meron muna tayong condition na kailangan natin sundin. In doing the completing the, completing the square, kailangan yung coefficient ng x squared nyo ay laging 1. Dapat meron siyang 1. If ever na meron siyang ibang coefficient bukod sa 1, you need to eliminate it at kailangan gawin mo siyang 1. Okay? So, here, in our first example, we are lucky because the coefficient of your quadratic term is 1. So, let's start solving this equation by completing the square. You have here x squared minus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. The first step na kailangan nyo tignan or kailangan nyo makita, again, is yung coefficient. If that is 1, proceed ka na sa next step natin. So, ang gagawin mo ngayon is you need to transpose the constant to the other side of the equation. So, i-transpose mo yung negative 12 sa, sa ibang side ng equation natin. So, basically, if you transpose a number, yung kanyang sign ay magiging different. So, you have x squared minus 4x is equal to 12. Okay, again, transpose the constant term. You have negative 12 and it will become positive. So, kung ano notice nyo, nag-provide ako ng space sa, pinag sa pinanggalingan ng 12 because maglalagay tayo rito ng isang blank at isa pa pang blank. Kasi nga, ang target natin ngayon is to create here a perfect square trinomial. Again, nag-alat tayo dyan ng isang space para makapag-create tayo ng isang perfect square trinomial. So, ano nga ba yung term na ilalagay natin dyan? Paano siya magiging perfect square trinomial? So, ito yung process. Get the coefficient of your linear term. Again, get the coefficient of your linear term, which is negative 4. Dito tayo sa right side, negative 4. And then divide it by 2. Okay? Kahit anong coefficient yan, you need to divide it by 2. And then get the quotient, negative 4 divided by 2, that will give you negative 2. And then second step, after dividing it by 2, you need to square your answer. Okay? So you have negative 2 raised to 2, that is equivalent to 4. This is the third term that will complete that equation. So you have here plus 4. Pero, 
Sir, how about the other side? So, para maging balance ang ating equations, since nag-add tayo ng 4 sa left side, kailangan mag-add din tayo ng 4 sa right side. Okay? As you can see, meron na tayo ritong trinomial, and this one is a perfect square trinomial. Copy lang natin. x squared minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 12 plus 4, which is 16. Now, after natin gawing perfect square trinomial, yung left side, kailangan naman natin siyang i-factor out at gawing square of binomial. So, parang ganito lang yan eh. Uh, that is a x squared, ah sorry, that is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Ang kapag factor niya yan, ang magiging factors niya ay a plus b squared. So, paano nga gawin yan? Una, mag-prepare mo na tayo ng dalawang ng parenthesis. Kunin mo square root ng first term, which is x. Kunin mo square root ng 4, which is 2. And then, copy the sign of the middle term, which is negative. Again, uulitin ko lang po, para hindi kayo malito. Yung magiging first term natin dito, get the square root of this square root of x squared is x and then the square root of the last term which is 4 square root of square root of 4 is 2 and then copy the sign of your middle term that is minus 2 and then is square mo lang ito is equal to 16 so yan na po yung ating factors so our new equation is the quantity of x minus 2 squared is equal to 16 so after this Kailangan mong kunin yung square root ng buong equation. Get the square root of this. Kunin mo square root ito. So dito, makakancel natin to, Magiging x minus 2 na lang tayo sa left side. And then, on the right side, ang square root ng 16 natin is not, is not just 4. Dalawa na. You have positive and negative 4. Then after that, you need to transpose this term para masolve natin yung variable x. Transpose natin sa, sa kabilang side. Our new equation is x is equal to positive negative 4 plus 2. Kasi from negative, magiging positive. Ngayon, we're not yet done. Kasi you need to solve for the values of x. Hindi pa simplified yung right side natin. So ang x sub 1 natin, or ang first value ng x natin, gamitin mo positive 4. So you have 4 and then plus 2. Therefore, your x sub 1 is none other than 6. Okay? Yun yung x sub 1 natin. As or how about the second value of x? Para makuha yung x sub 2 natin, o yung pangalawang value ng x, since nagamit mo na yung positive, you will be using here the negative 4. So my negative 4 plus 2. Now, as you can see, as you simplify this, your x sub 2, negative 4 plus 2 is none other than negative 2. Now, these are the values of x. You have 6 and negative 2. That's it for example number 1. So, after this, we will be having the next example, but this time, it is more complicated than the first one. Okay? Now, we have here example number 2. Sabi dito, solve 3x squared minus 8x plus 5 is equal to 0 by completing the square. So, it is specified that we need to solve this quadratic equation by CTS or completing the square. So, first, we need to copy the equation. You have 3x squared minus 8x plus 5 is equal to 0. So, what we're gonna do here, una, you can do something about the first term, kasi nga, diba, ang condition natin, dapat, before ka mag the square, kailangan yung coefficient ng yung quadratic term ay 1. So, dito, meron tayong 3 na coefficient. So, you need to divide it by 3. Pero, unahin ko muna, Transpose mo muna itong constant term sa kabilang side ng equation. So, 
our new equation is 3x squared minus 8x is equal to negative 5. Then after transposing the constant term, you need to divide both sides of the equation by 3. Ano yung purpose? Bakit tayo nag-divide ng 3? Kasi we can eliminate 3 and 3 at magiging 1 na lang siya. So ang iyong magiging quadratic term is just x squared. Okay? So ganun lang yung way kung paano magiging 1 yung coefficient ng quadratic term. And then, since yung negative 8 and 3 natin, wala na siyang lowest terms, copy lang natin negative 8x over 3 is equal to negative 5 over 3. At kung mapansin nyo ulit, meron na tayong spaces sa magkabilang side of the, of the equation. Kasi maglalagay tayo ng panibagong term dito at hindi pa natin alam kung ano term na yun. Okay? Mag-alat muna tayong spaces. Now, paano natin ulit makukuha yung third term ng left side? Ang gagawin mo lang, you need to copy this one the coefficient of your linear term that is negative 8 over 3. Again, kahit anong coefficient ba yan, ang next step mo is to divide it by 2. And this kind of what? This kind of fraction is kind of complex. So, gagawin natin ngayong negative 8 over 3 at kunin mo reciprocal na to, which is 1 half. Magiging multiplication siya. And then multiplying negative 8 and 1, that is negative 8 over 6. Now, as you can see, we can simplify negative 8 over 6. I-reduce natin siya bilang negative 4 over 3. So right after this, kailangan mo siyang square. So square the negative 4 over 3 that will give you 16 over 9. Ito ngayon yung ilalagay natin dito sa third term. You have 16 over 9. Sa so right side, plus 16 over 9. Since yung ating left side ay naka, nakompleto na natin, natin sa siyang perfect square trinomial, ang kailangan na lang natin i-simplify ito. Okay? So dito, sa right side natin, Gawin na natin siyang square of binomial. You have the quantity of x minus 4 over 3 squared. Again, paano ko nakuha yan? Square root ng x squared. I x. Paano ko naman nakuha to? Ang square root ng 16 over 9 is equal to 4 over 3. At ito naman, yung sign na to, kinopya ko lang dito. Okay? So, I hope na naging clear yung ating explanation bakit meron tayong x minus 4 over 3 squared. And then, yung right side natin, kulin natin yung LCD. The LCD is 9. 9 divided by 3, that will give you 3, times negative 5, this negative 15 plus 9 divided by 9 that will give you 1 times 16 that is 1 okay simplifying this part copy natin yung right in left side x minus 4 over 3 squared is equal to sorry this is 16 is equal to yung negative 15 natin plus 16 is equal to 1 over 9. So as you can see, yung left side natin is isa na siyang perfect, isa na siyang square of binomial at yung right side natin ay nasimplify na natin. So pwede na tayo ngayon mag extracting the square roots. Cancel natin to. Cancel natin to. So it will give you x minus 4 over 3. And then, in square root naman ng ating 1 over 9 is positive negative 
1 over 3. Para nakuha yan, square root ng 1 ay 1, square root ng 9 ay 3. And then, after this, transpose mo to sa right side. So you have here x is equal to positive negative 1 over 3. At itong negative 4 over 3 mo, it will become plus 4 over 3. So again, kagaya na sinabi ko, sa ating first example, we're not yet done. Ang x sub 1 mo, I must solve mo or mahanap mo, gamit yung positive 1 third, plus 4 over 3. So your x sub 1 is equal to 5 over 3. This is the first value of x. Now, sir, how about the second value of x, which is f sub x sub 2? Gamitin mo ngayon yung negative 1 third. Is equal to negative 1 third plus 4 over 3. And then adding those fractions, ang x sub 2 mo is none other than one, negative 1 plus 4 is, neg, is equal to 3 over 3. And simplifying this, this will give you 1 as your final answer. So these are the values of x. We have 5 over 3 and 1. Again, I hope na natulungan kayo ng ating tutorial video about solving quadratic equations by extracting the roots. So kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ihit mo na rin yung bell button para updated ka lagi sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!